Hello, and welcome to Jinx. Well, today, we're back again for the, uh... Well, you know what this is. This is the Monthly Manga Diaries and Bot Buys for May of 2024. I forgot the year, then. Um, even though it is it is June today, as of recording, but this is all the stuff that I got this year. This year? This month. Um, and I don't think June was going to have much stuff anyway, because there's nothing really coming out. Um, and I pretty much already completed Animated, so... Let's get on with the. Well, let's let's start off with the manga first, shall we? Because that's like the least important thing here. I did pick up fifteen of Chainsaw Man, which I did read online anyway. But you know, I, I love I love my Fujimoto. And talking of Fujimoto, of course, I'm continuing with Fire Punch, um, which is a really good, really really good series. Um, very shocking. Um, really really shocking. Uh, especially the, the the volumes that I bought there. Um, really good series. I, I really do enjoy it. And, and I didn't even know it had a a comic as they call it here, the, the manga. Um, I used to play the game, twenty twenty I think it was. I loved it. I loved the character designs, especially Mamon, which probably gave away what this is. But I have not read this yet. But I will be reading this once I finish recording this. This is the Obey Me manga, which, you know, didn't even know was a thing, so I'm very excited to read that, and to cap off the anime manga section, yeah, do not go drinking and then head straight to a comic shop, um, I'm not going to complain because Chozo is my favourite JJK character, but I'm so happy I have this, um, I now just want a Toji, because I've got a power statue, I've got a a Chozo statue, and now if I had a Toji one, then that would be all my favourite anime characters. Well, as in physical form on my shelves. Now, shall we get on to the bots? So, I'll start off in order. Well, not really in order. Actually, there's going to be no order to this other than... These two are the least interesting. I got them from Manic Miners. This one is a bit faulty. He has two right arm blasts, I think. I think. You can't even see him, it's the Rise of the Beasts. I got this guy for free, um, and I traded in a few things, and I got this guy for a bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, Viper's really cool, and Primal is, well, if you actually tabbed in together, he would be cool. Um, and that same day, if literally the, the 10 minutes before I, I set off to go to Manny Miners, I managed, well, I, I got the two pack of this, I did get the two pack. I got Senator Shockwave and the Humble Origins two pack, um, which I'm only keeping Senator Shockwave because I have no interest in that Orion. When, as you saw last month, I already have the one Orion that I want. Um, and so the the Orion is going to to my friend that I'm going to give him a TFN this year. But yeah, this is this is a it's a good figure. And so we keep on with the the the, the Senator tr um, train. Of course, the other senator released in Evo was, of course, Ratbat. Now, I got this thanks to Zor Rider, who sold it to me for a really good price it was. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy I have this. This is probably my favourite use of the mould. Probably helps that it's really dark colours, and it's a good mould anyway. It's not wobbly like my Scourge is. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good figure. Really pretty as well. And the amount of remoulding they did to this, more than I thought, honestly. Um, let's get on to, I'll, I'll, I'll save the two really impressive things, so impressive for me anyway, for the end. Um, I did manage to pick up Blazing Lockdown, who was, not mint in box, but it came with his box, so I've got his box, and Blitzwing's box as well. So, you know, I picked up one of these in February of this year, uh, Blitzwing I did, um, but I managed to get another Blitzwing because mine was missing the cannons and the back fins and the missiles and this one had them all, so I picked up this one. Um, and this is a really pretty figure. He's got a loose leg and he isn't complete. He is missing one of the foot panels, but that's all right. I'm not really arsed anyway. Um, it's a really pretty, pretty figure. Um, and I did also... Same day I got Chozo and the manga, I, once again, do not recommend you go drinking and, and buying toys. I picked up 86 Blaster and Eject, who, they are really pretty. 
Um, definitely better than the Legacy one, but not by much. Like, I was fine with the Legacy Kingdom one. Um, I wasn't asked about this, but I, I got it anyway. Because do not go drinking and buy toys. Don't. Um, so that there is Blaster. And then the same day, I picked up... Bum. 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 And... Which, I've already uploaded a, a comparison video for these guys and their originals. Um, but the same day I recorded that, he broke. Trailbreaker broke. But I managed to get another one. So I'm I'm fine. This is a really nice set. I still stand by what I said in my video. It is really worth it. Mainly, I'd say, just for Sunstreaker and Hound. And then, if you want to, you can sell the rest on. But, you know, the lack of clear plastic does make it that bit more, you know premium and a lot and the, the hand feel someone who's autistic um i judge things a lot on texture and the way they feel in my in my hands um, and they feel really nice to the fact that i'm just messing with them because of how nice they feel it's the same with ssac ultra magnus um which is probably the reason why that is my favorite figure ever it just feels really nice in your hand um but before we... oh, i'll show this one actually off already Now, yeah, I got Tidal Wave. I mean, you've all probably seen about that. I mean, 15,000 of you have probably seen um, because I did the first review of him, which I'm not really proud of the review um, because I didn't edit out the background noise for a bit. So you can just hear a bit of uh, Chris Motionless and Maria Rink singing uh, when I'm doing my overview um, because I'm an idiot and didn't mute the background noise. This is, is a really nice figure. He's the best Titan I've owned. Which isn't saying much, considering I've only a Devastator, Trypticon, who I've sold. And Black Zarak. And Black Zarak was my favourite, and then I got him, and he's really nice. Legacy United is really hitting it out the park with the big lads, because Magmatron is fantastic too. If you've seen my video, you'll know. And now, probably the best thing I've ever received... Because like, I, I didn't know I was going to get this. I went, obviously, I went to Western Vintage last month. Um, and I went, got a lot of anime stuff, and I mainly went for this thing, you know, I, I, and it turns out, oh, it's, it's on the eBay page, and the minute I go and see if it's still there, it's, it's sold. Um, but then the day I got sent to Shockwave, and those, uh, the, the Viper and the Primal Gun, I was told I got packaging, and I hadn't ordered anything at the time. Um... Because the only thing I had on order was Tidal Wave, um, but he kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to get it. But especially on the, the 2nd of May. No way am I getting it on the 2nd of May. Um, but, you know, I, I was expecting the thing. Maybe you probably, I thought at first it was my dad playing tricks saying, oh, I've, I've put the toilet paper that we get delivered in your name. Which he does to my sister a lot, so that's why I thought he did it to me. Um... But then I open it. Oh, I see the box and it has a less than just stick sticker on. And I'm like, oh god, it, it can't be. It, it, cause who, who would have? The best thing I've ever received, ever. And I'm never opening it. Um, she is for some reason a bit frosty there. I have no idea what that is for. Um, but she is. This is the best thing I've ever received. It did make me have a little bit of a tear. Um, but she's my favourite character from anything ever. And obviously I got the... I've got the figure anyway. She is on my shelf. My other anime Decepticons. Um, proudly standing next to Megatron and Lugnut, um In front of Starscream. Um, and she does look really nice. But having one in box. Because the animated packaging... It's it's really nice. Um, in my eyes, it is. It, it's the one packaging from any show that really shows the feeling of the show off, other than Generation One, because well, Generation One packaging is really nice. The design is it so well, but it oh, just look at it. It's really. It feels like I'm back in 2008 in, in Sheffield Meta Hall again. Um, but yeah, that is it for the bots and manga of this month. It's been quite a slow month. And saying that, I did get the five-pack of Tidal Wave, so it's been an expensive month. 
as well as a slow month. Um, but yeah, I am really happy with the purchases I have made um, this month. Next month, I'm expecting nothing. Well, next month, I mean this month, June. I'm expecting nothing really to come out. Um, I do have lockdown on pre-order. And the... Oh, what's that? The, the Doom and Destruction. The two-pack with Chop Shop and Barrage. I do have that on pre-order. Because I was worried about missing out on them too. Even though I, I'm not going to lie lockdown much. But it's just the fact that it's lockdown that I was like, yeah, I need that. Um, and they're coming out in July. And unless by some miracle... I win the eBay bid for the Botcon Cheetor, which I doubt I will, because eBay snipers, um, yeah, I don't think I'm getting much this month, which is good, because TF Nation is in two months, and I've got a James Marriott concert this month, um, and I've got Japan coming up next year, so it gives me a chance to save up a bit more, but that's good, it means that I'm being sensible this month, um, but yeah, that's been all stuff they may have something to form. I hope you have enjoyed um, and I have been drinks. This has been my May monthly manga diary and bot buys. Um don't forget to check my book out the link will be in the description and I'll see you on my next take a look at another well anything from whatever we love.